So where do you guys get your, your ideas from? Well, lately, I've been getting my ideas from my friend, Mrs. Weasley. Now, Mrs. Weasley is my dog, and she has been teaching me all about life and our time together. Now, I found her in the dog pound, and she was sitting up against her cage, and her eyes were screaming, get me out of here. We connected immediately. Now, she is half terrier, half pound, and she is perky and perfect, and her hair is short and doesn't shed, and, well, we are mirror images. <laughs> well, lately, life has been throwing me some major challenges and life-altering choices, and I have been finding refuge running along the Albuquerque ditches with my dog, Mrs. Weasley. And we have a pact. We are sharing these moments together. Now, this is a story about what we are learning on our runs. We are learning about vision, trust, and results. Now, when we are running, we are like hawks. She is circling around and zeroing in on places to sniff, and I, I am eyeing patterns of inspiration from tire tracks to shoe soles, you know, imprinted in the sand and the changing of foliage as seasons pass, and she is teaching me about the micro and macro world all around. I am learning to slow down and take it all in. Now, Trust is easy to say, but sometimes really hard to follow. Miss Weasley, for the most part, trusts me, except when she is determined to stay on her own path. Hmm, sounds familiar. Now, she stops and mingles and gets her nose into some really dirty places. Well, I too have found I have been getting my nose into some not so pretty messes. And I have learned that I will trust the world as long as it's going my way. But as soon as my leash is put on and I'm yanked to change direction and move forward, I plant my feet and my butt to the ground and I give a little growl and I am reluctant to move forward. Well, we eventually have to surrender and get back on our path. And at that point, we have forgotten why have we been so stubborn in the first place. Now there are also those times when Miss Weasley runs right past me. And she is just, you know, and I have to yell, Weasley, wait, wait for me. And I think, how many times have I run straight past my dreams? And I have to end up waiting for destiny to catch up with me. <sighs> now, there's also those times when Miss Weasley, you know, she encounters all of these different dogs, and she knows which ones are friendly and which ones to stay away from, for the most part. Her instincts are usually correct. But one day, Miss Weasley ran after a coyote, and I had to yell, Miss Weasley, wait! And I was whistling for her, there's danger ahead. And I thought, how many times have I strayed on the wrong path and run past danger, or run into danger for that, you know, fact, ignoring the whistle inside of me? So Miss Weasley and I are both learning how to listen. Now that leads us to results. Now, for us, you know, running, Miss Weasley has to do her business, and well, I'm thinking about mine, and we love the nature, nature's wonderment, and the space and freedom around us, and all of that. Once we're on our runs, we've got to keep moving forward. For if we are going to retrace our steps, well, that's a moot point, and once and in adversity. What about when Miss, with Miss Weasley was stung by a bee and she couldn't walk home? We had to learn 
how to walk home. So what I have learned in this silly little dog story with Miss Weasley is I have learned how to go on my own path, open my senses to all that is, and to trust, to obey, and listen to my destiny's calling, and that there is always, always an end in sight and an extra cupcake or two. Thank you.